What's up, everybody? I'm back, and once again, this is Back Page Stories with Paris Ratliff, and this is episode number three. Episode number three. Um, and like I always say, you know, um, I have some of the greatest back page stories of all time. I don't think nobody's fucking with me. I don't think nobody is fucking with me but maybe you know somebody that has some better stories i mean maybe you have some better stories i don't know let me know about it um but i doubt it i doubt it man i'm out here anyway um you know when you when you go online and you get you a bitch your main goal is to get your fucking money's worth but sometimes that doesn't happen and I got caught up in a situation like this once, but I didn't go out like no punk. I didn't go out like no punk. And I'm about to tell you about it. All right. So here we go. I went online uh, looking for something sweet and petite. All right. If you don't know what I mean by that, I mean, I want something that's. I was looking for something slim with a nice body, something young and, you know, delicious is what I was looking for. So I was scrolling down and I came across this young lady who went by the name of Chocolate. Yes, Chocolate. She had a nice, like, she was, like, dark in complexion, you know, she had, like, a little, like, a little body, they had, like, a little six-pack or something going on in the picture, like, you couldn't see her face, it was just, like, more of a bra and panty situation that was in the pictures, but it looked delicious, and it said that she was 19 and 120 pounds, mm, you know what I mean, so, I said, fuck it, and I sent her a text message, like, yo, what's up baby how much and she sent me a message back like are you the police and i was like huh i was like no i'm not the police like what the fuck like hell no i'm not the cops so then she was like 80 and i was like mm, that's actually a pretty decent price for the 80 i mean i was i was looking for more of a 60 situation but i mean you can't be you can't be that cheap all the fucking time you know so she gave me some directions to a hotel. Um, and I was like, nope, I'm not going to no fucking hotel because I don't do hotels. I mean, this might be a sting operation. This could be like maybe a robbery situation. I don't want to deal with no fucking pimps. Fuck that. So I asked her like, yeah, can um, can I just bring you back to my place? Can you come to my place? Uh, 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 what's going on? And she was like, yo, I don't have a car. And I was like, fuck. So then I knew that I had to fucking go pick this bitch up if I wanted to have this shit to happen. So I was like, yo, well, can I can I come pick you up? And she was like, she was like, yeah. So, you know, I went out there and I drove because it wasn't that far away from my place. So this, wasn't, this made it very easy. So, you know, I got there and I, I circled around the block a few times because, like I said, I didn't want to get caught up. And no fucking sting operation and no fucking robbery and no type of shit like that. So I kept circling around and I was texting the bitch. And then I saw this, I saw this little bitch um, answering like a, a, a text message. I was like, oh shit, that's her. And I looked and like she actually didn't look that fucking bad. I mean, this wasn't a, a catfish situation. She had on like some, some fucking jeans and a pair of Jordans and like a little fucking jacket and shit. You know, little hood bitch. You know what I mean? But she wasn't that ugly, I mean, she actually was pretty, she was actually pretty fucking cute, so, you know, um, this bitch got in the car, you know, we started driving back to my place, and she started talking, and I really, I really didn't want to hear no fucking talking, you know what I mean, she was asking me questions, like, what do you do, and shit like that, like, bitch, this, this ain't none of your fucking business what I do, like, why are you asking me these questions, like, I just, I just want some fucking vagina, like, just, just shut the fuck up. So, you know, I, I was trying not to be rude, but I just turned the radio up a little bit because, you know, maybe she'd get the message like, and I'm like, maybe he don't feel like talking. And, you know, maybe I don't feel like trying to yell over this loud fucking music. And then, you know, I got a nice, quiet ride back 
to my place. So, you know, we get back to my place and, um, you know, we, we, we come on the inside and shit. And then the first thing she does is say, um, yeah, can I use your bathroom? And then, you know, she, she goes in the bathroom and she does what I would like to suspect is clean up pussy somehow. I, I think that's what she did because, most women, I'm not just talking fucking toots and shit. Most women, regular women, have whole kits in their purses. Check your girl's purse right now. I guarantee you there's a whole kit in there. So she can clean her fucking vagina. I mean, I don't know what they have in the whole kit. It's like, what, some baby wipes? Maybe a little smell good shit that they spray on there. I don't fucking know. But this little bitch, she went in the fucking bathroom. I heard two sprays of fucking water from the faucet. Shh. And then her silence. And then she opened up the door and she came out, right? And when she came out, she took her fucking pants off. She sat on the bed and said, okay, you ready? And I said, fucking hell yeah, bitch. I popped my dick out the, out the fucking hole of the boxes. And I said, all right, I'm ready. So I sat on the bed. And then she said, well, you know, I usually don't give my clients head. But you're kind of cute. So I'm going to make an exception. And I was like, huh? I was like, listen, I know you're fucking lying. I didn't say this out loud. I, I said this in my fucking head. I, I know you're fucking lying. But because if you know anything about strippers and toots and shit like that, like they will tell you anything that you want to hear to make you feel good. And I'm just like, bitch, like, don't try to make me feel good. Just make me feel good. You get what I'm saying? Like, don't try to make me feel good. Just make me feel good good and then you know she started giving me some fucking head you know it was it was a mediocre it was a mediocre head job i mean i mean if you want to be honest i mean all condom head pretty much sucks you know what i mean because it's just like trying to i would like to imagine i never sucked a dick but it's like you know trying to trying to suck a fucking sucker through the fucking rapper i mean it just sucks you know what i mean so you know it's just like i didn't like it I didn't really like it. I mean, she did as well as she could, I guess. I mean, I've had condom hair before. That was the fucking bomb. But this shit, it wasn't that great. But, you know, she tried. But it did get my dick hard because I looked at her fucking, that little popcorn booty sticking in the fucking head because I was laying on the bed. And, you know, she was leaned over, you know, on the bed with me. You know, and I'm looking at that little thin body with a fucking fucking popcorn booty sticking in the air and i was like mm, this is just fucking delicious and it was enough to get my fucking dick hard so then you know she she after that she bends over and i peel them fucking little panties down and i put my dick in and i started to what i would like to think was fucking the shit out of her because i'm really thrashing this bitch which what i thought was thrashing but i guess it wasn't because she just kept saying go go harder go harder and I'm like, okay, so now I'm fucking a harder, and I'm really tearing my fucking hips up. Having a lot of uh, hip hip problems because I'm fucking the shit out of this bitch, and it's really not doing nothing. This bitch is used to taking dick. She's like, go harder, go harder. And in my head, I'm like, bitch, I'm going as hard as I fucking can. Like, what the fuck is, who are you? You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking the shit out of you right now. I, well, I thought I was. But I guess I wasn't. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to thrash this bitch and thrash this bitch. It, it wasn't doing nothing. Because this type of dick work would usually, usually KO a bitch. If I was fucking a bitch like this. But this bitch was taking his dick like a fucking champ. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, you, you I'm like, wait a minute, you 19? Like, what the fuck is going on here? How the fuck are you taking this thrashing from this dick? But she was taking it. And you know she was really um, like grinding a fucking dick into my into my my, my fucking hips and shit and, and grabbing the sheets, you know. So I'm like, okay, this this ain't working. This ain't working. This bitch is fucking me. What the fuck is going on here? So I I, I had to go. I had to go to a plan B. So basically now I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, this, this ain't damaging this bitch enough. So, you know, I got to hit her with the, I got to hit her with the fucking hammer now. I got to lay that fucking hammer down. So I told her like, I'm like, yeah, turn over. Let me get a little bit of this. It is in between action. You know what I mean? Let me get a little missionary, baby. You know what I mean? So, you know, she, she turned around and, you know, she lay on her back and, you know, I really start to 
thrashing this bitch. I'm trying to put all my weight into this pussy. I'm going up and down like a fucking jackhammer. Bow, 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 bow. Really trying to hurt this bitch. All you hear is just skin, just. I'm really trying to tie this bitch up. And I can tell that she really into it. Because her fucking toes and shit is curled and shit. She wrapping her fucking legs around my body. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting this bitch now. She can't handle this fucking dick, right? And then, you know, I look down at my dick as it's going into her fucking pussy, right? And, like, it's all this fucking white shit, this fucking cream and shit coming out this little bitch, right? And I'm like, whoa, this bitch's pussy looks like banana pudding right now. This bitch's pussy has turned into fucking banana pudding. Wow. So, then this is when it, it gets a little fucked up, right? Because, you know, of course, I gave this bitch the 80 fucking dollars. So, I'm getting my fucking $80 worth, which is about 15 fucking minutes. So, I'm fucking this bitch. And then she takes her fucking hand. And she starts rubbing her fucking vagina while I'm fucking her. You know, like rubbing her little bean, a little clit. She's rubbing a little fucking bean. And in my head, I'm thinking like, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is going on here? And then she starts moaning. Uh, uh, I'm not going to moan. I'm not going to gross you out. But I mean, she starts moaning and shit. And then, you know, I, I had to ask her, like, you know, um, what are you doing? Because I'm honest. I'm like, I'm like, oh, 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 what are you doing? And she's like, oh, I'm about to come. And in my head, I heard the brakes go. I'm like, wait a minute, bitch. I'm saying all this in my head. Wait a minute, bitch. I paid for one nut, bitch. Only one of us is nutting. Because, listen, if if I nut and you nut, I got to get some of my money back. Like, it's only this $80 paid for one nut. Like, bitch, if you nut, I got to get at least half my money back. Because you got some out of this. Like, this $80 is for me. It's only going to be one nut being bust today. So I'm like, um, oh, you about to, you about to nut? Oh, okay. So what I did was I up my dick game. I up my dick game and I said, uh-uh, bitch, I'm going to beat you. You know what I mean? So I started fucking and I really started concentrating on me nothing. You know what I mean? Because this bitch ain't nothing. Not on my watch and not on my fucking 80. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, if she nut, I got to get at least half my money back, bitch, because, you know, this this wasn't a team this ain't a team thing you know what i mean this is not a team you know so i really start ramming this bitch and then i bust Ugh, i bust right on the inside right on the inside of her still condom condom still on fucking i pulled the condom out shit like a fucking water balloon but I, there was a lot of fucking but anyway you know what i mean so now i got the water balloon condom and then you know she looked at me like damn i ain't get a chance to come yet and i'm like ha ha bitch that's what you get because you're not coming on my fucking 80 this 80 paid for one nut you know what i'm saying so after that was over you know um i can tell she probably was about to catch a little case of blue ball wait wait a minute do women get blue balls what happens when a woman don't nut like what what is that called blue clit i I don't know. I need to do some. I need to Google it. Do women get blue balls? I don't know. Somebody in the comment section. Tell me what the fuck happens if a woman is about to come and then it is abruptly interrupted. Somebody help me because I don't fucking know. Ladies, are you listening to this shit? What happens? What does it feel like? Do you get mad? I don't know because, you know, after, you know, I bust my nut. She didn't. She didn't finish. And. I did not give a fuck. And that was it. You know, after that, you know, um, we put our shit on. She had a little disappointed look on her face. Like I said, I didn't give three or four or five fucks about that. And then, you know, the worst part about that was I was like, damn. I got to go drop this bitch back off of that fucking hotel. I wanted to do an Uber move. But listen, I'm not paying no more fucking money for this bitch fuck that wait a minute was it uber back then maybe it was a cat maybe that was cab time i think that was cab time like like i, I damn sure wasn't doing no fucking cab fuck that you know what i'm saying you know how much a cab costs you know what i mean but 
So, you know, I had to go drop this this funky bitch back off at the hotel. And it was an awkward ride, you know what I mean? Because um, I really didn't want to talk then. So I just I just turned my music up as loud as I could. And I dropped off. And I said, you know, um, save my number because I will be calling you back again. You know what I mean? And long story short, I... I, I smashed that young lady at least three or four more times. And one time, the condom broke. But that's another story for another day. And I will give you that story soon. Uh, very interesting story. But, all right, you guys. That was another episode of Backpage Stories with Perry's Ratliff. That was episode three. If I didn't mention it in the beginning, episode three, back page stories with me. Thank you guys. Um, a little advice. I don't have none. Uh, just be safe when you fucking these hoes. And you know what? Back page is uh, it's on a decline. A lot of sting operations, a lot of robberies, a lot of murder. It's a lot of weird shit going on with Backpage. So, you know, be careful. And ladies, continue to uh, sell that vagina because we need you. Uh, we need to bust these nuts, ladies. Now I'm just rambling. So fuck it. All right. Next time.